¿Qué pasó, YouTube? All right, so this is last minute video garden tour slash midsummer, late summer, whatever, wherever we are. Anyway, so there was a hummingbird hanging out right here, hanging out right here. It was like four feet away from me because I, I was weeding. I actually was weeding for once. And I was about to get a video of it, but then it flew away. So that was a bummer. Anyway, so now I'm doing a video garden tour. Uh, really quick. Uh, so these are the two um, sunflowers that a client gifted me. Looking beautiful. So right here is where I just throw everything in there. The aster is coming up. Just full of color, color, color. I love it. There's another aster right there. Uh, and then right here. So, I wish I would, could have got that shot of the hummingbird, but oh well. Anyway, so right here, I got four purple lucistrife in pots. So this garden bed is 90, 95% decomposed horse manure. And according to Google, it like flowering perennials don't like it, but everything has bloomed so far. But, so there you go. Uh, but the damn beetles, they don't leave the purple loose stripe alone. Look at them. So they ate all of the purple loose stripe. But here's what is interesting over here. They didn't. They do eat them, but I mean, look at the difference. Not not as much as over here. So the only thing I can think of is that they don't like the sound of the AC. I'm not sure, but so I thought that was interesting. Like I said, they do eat them, but you know, still got a lot of it, and uh, I love it. I just wish it had the same color over here. But no, dang beetles. So over here I got the Black Eyed Susan, the Nepeta. This Rose of Sharon has not leafed out, but it's still green. It's still green. This one over here, however, is dry. But there's my backup right there, the little one. So we'll see. And let me talk to you guys about a an idea that I've had, like, as soon as I finish this project back here. But uh, since the property is not mine, is why I was holding back. But now, I think I might do it. But we might eventually move, so I'm still not sure. Anyway, so this right here is my picture frame garden bed. Got the hydrangeas. And what I want to do is get a maple, put it over there. So where you see where the sunflowers are at? Not there, but like, you know, like on the grass right there. And so imagine, imagine there's another maple like this one over there. It would act like a backdrop for my picture frame garden bed. And it would create... A more intimate area for my seating area right here and then there's the uh, my girls trampoline got the dogs uh, bed and then there's a fireplace down there I might get rid of that fireplace so like I said I was waiting right? so I don't know I think that would look cool that would look awesome but remember when you plant a tree it eventually creates shade so think about that but that would look awesome i might call this a five minute garden tour video because um we are approaching five minutes i gotta prune up my um budlia and then this is how this area looks ten nine eight seven what do you call those and 